I woke up to him chewing on my nose. <laughs> Are you gonna have a good day? Let me turn the sound machine off. It's so hard to get up in the morning because the sound machine is so peaceful. It just keeps you in bed. I need that thing to be turned off. <laughs> good morning, handsome. How are you? How'd you sleep? He pooped bad. I smell it. Why'd you do that to me? You wanna go get changed? Let's go change you, come on. Say all clean. We used to have like a fabric on here, but he pees on me so much that we just took it off and we literally change him on this travel one that came with our diaper bag. So he just pees on us way too much. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. We're gonna do some tummy time. Yeah, we're gonna do some tummy time. This is my life. It's also so bright in here and I don't know why. Can they see you? He's so little. Oh, you're so little. So we actually woke up at about seven o'clock. It's like 9.30 right now. We woke up with daddy. Oh, so that means we probably woke up at like, oh, we woke up at 6.15 and I fed him. He hung out with daddy, which is so cute because before Theo was born, they'd talk in the morning, like Zach would talk to my stomach and Theo would be responding. So now that Theo is here, it's just so sweet to see them talk in the morning. Cause I'm like, you guys used to do this like in my stomach and now he's here. So now it's like 9.30. So we were able to take like a two hour nap. Normally he is so hard to put down in the morning. I don't know if it's cause he sleeps so well at night. So it's like his first nap after sleeping so well is just so hard to put him down. But I was able to put him down. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Are you talking? I was able to put him down and then he let me sleep with him, which was very nice. So we just snuggled and now we are awake. I had Zach leave the car because I kind of want to go out today. It's Friday and we've been home all week. So I'm like, maybe we'll go out and get a coffee. I kind of want to go to the beach, but the beach is about 15 minutes away. And I just don't know if I want to be like that far from home. It's not like 15 minutes, a few miles, you know, where it's like a bunch of lights. No, it's like 15 minutes on the interstate. I don't know if I want to be on the interstate state for 15 minutes with him alone he kind of sometimes does well in the car but sometimes he's screaming his head off like i've pulled over twice with him to feed him in the car even though i fed him before we drove so it's like i can't quite figure out if he enjoys the car or not i don't know it just gives me anxiety and i am not an anxiety person i've never struggled with anxiety except for college i struggled with testing anxiety but other than that i've never been an anxious person but literally when he's crying crying in the car like I get so tense and it's like I just hate it it makes me so sad because there's nothing I can do I can't like jump back there and save him like I'm driving so driving with him is kind of like ugh, I hate it I hate it I try my best to set him up for success like feed him make sure he's about to be taking a nap but when he starts crying I'm just like oh my gosh I don't know if I want to go to the beach because I just did my hair last night so I'm like I don't think I want to go to the beach and like have it get all fluffed up because we have some fun plans this weekend we have two birthday celebrations this weekend well I have two birthday celebrations, so it's like, I need my hair to stay good because I'm not doing it again, so. You're being so sweet. <laughs> you wanna show them your cool moves? He's getting so big. They grow up way too fast. Like, I know that's so cliche to say, but they really do. They really do. Good job. What? Oh. Dude, you're so strong. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> Sound like he said hi. This thing is the bomb. I'm literally so happy that I got this thing. It has transformed our times at home. He loves just sitting here. He falls asleep in here all the time. So I'm gonna have him in here while I do my makeup and get ready. Mm -hmm. Look how sweet. Look how sweet. He just loves being so close. So as I was saying earlier, I did my hair last night, which I am praying that my postpartum hair stays because I feel like my hair never grows and honestly it doesn't even look like super long but it's super thick and I usually have very fine short brittle hair in pregnancy just change that for my hair that's the one good thing that came out of pregnancy so I feel like he's trying to talk to you guys <laughs> Oh, I love the smell of sunscreen. Oh. This is the best thing in the world. It's like the 
best thing, but also the hardest thing ever. Guys, look at this outfit. I've never put these on him. They're like little overalls. Yeah. I got these from a friend and I am obsessed. They're so cute. Getting dressed for a day on the town. I can't even. This is so freaking cute. Little man is asleep, but this is the outfit of the day. Everything's from Target, embarrassingly enough. Tank top Target, shorts Target, and then my shoes are also from Target. But this necklace is Ana Luisa. It's like a little flower. It's super cute. Not sponsored. I've been sponsored by them before, but not this video. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I do not have a couch. The couch is gone. There was this couch on Marketplace. It was gorgeous. It was like a cloud couch. It was in the budget. So I sold our current couch thinking that we were gonna get that couch. She has ghosted me. I have not heard from her. She still hasn't sold it yet based on Facebook. Like it still says pending for me, but have not heard from her, so. <laughs> we will be couchless for a while. While Theo is asleep, I am gonna cook some breakfast because when we go out, I don't really wanna buy food, I just wanna buy coffee, you know? So I'm gonna make some avocado toast. Today so far has actually been a really good day. Typically, he does not take naps. His longest nap will be maybe 45 minutes and he used to sleep for like two hours when he was a newborn newborn. So it was a lot of adjusting for me, but right now he's asleep, like he fell asleep on me and then I just laid him down and he was still sleep so we'll see how long he sleeps he'll definitely be hungry after and then i want to go to the coffee shop but i really wanted him to sleep in the car and i don't know if he'll fall asleep in the car right after the nap like typically he has a wake window of like an hour so i'm like do i play my cards right and have him stay awake here and then i don't know i don't know if anybody else does this but like it's like trying to time your hair for the perfect day like i don't wash my hair every day so i'm like okay which day do i wash my hair so that it lines up with this plan but it's not too crusty for this plan like you're trying to like drag it out. That's how it feels. I'm like, when should I leave so he still sleep? Do I want him to sleep in the car or do I want him to sleep in the coffee shop? You know, it's hard. These are the vitamins I've been taking. They're just postnatal vitamins. And I honestly think that they've been helping a lot with postpartum in general, just like with the hormone levels, the insane shift, like literally as soon as you give birth, all of those hormones just come out with the baby because they're not needed anymore. They're not like building a baby anymore. So luckily I didn't have a huge hormone crash. I feel like when I got, why does the toaster scare me every time? When I got pregnant, that's when my hormone crash happened. Like it was the opposite for me. I was so, honestly I was depressed and I don't know if it's cause I was sick or if it was because of the hormones flooding in. Well, the reason I got sick was cause the hormones, okay anyway, yeah. I, I had the opposite. I basically had prenatal depression and it was horrific. So, but these vitamins I swear have been helping a bunch. Little man's awake. Hey, how'd you sleep? How'd you sleep? <laughs> he wants to eat. We're about to go, and I'm so nervous. Are you nervous? First time going out alone with him, like trying to have a good time, you know? Not going to the doctor or something like that. I'm a little bit nervous. How do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah. Let's get ready. Hi, Theo. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Little man's all loaded up. We can do this, Theo. You ready? Yeah. So we're at the coffee shop, but <laughs> Yeah, you smiling? You smiling? We're at the coffee shop right now, but I'm in the back seat with him. And I don't know why, I'm just nervous to go in. It's so dark. I don't know why my camera's so dark. Maybe because I'm wearing a hat. I'm just nervous to go in. I feel like I'm gonna cry. And I didn't even go to the coffee shop I wanted to go to. The one I wanted to go to is by the beach, which is 15 minutes away. This one's like five minutes away. Cause I just, he was starting to cry and I was like, I don't need to push it and go that far. Like he is still a newborn, he's seven weeks. And I think they're considered a baby at 12 weeks. So I need to chill. But then I'm also like, I want to go out and get coffee. Will you let mommy get coffee? 
But literally, as soon as I got back here and started talking to him, he just smiled. And I'm like, oh. if you are a mommy, comment below like some tips on driving with babies and how to get them comfortable. Because I feel like when he was an infant, like baby baby, he would fall asleep instantly. But it's because they're babies. Like they sleep anywhere and everywhere. But now that he's a little bigger, like I don't think he likes it. I don't think he likes the car seat. Yeah, I don't think you like the car seat. So I don't know if I should go in or if I should just settle for Starbucks and go through the drive-thru so I don't have to carry him in. What should we do? It's okay. I feel like he's probably tired and needs his nap. I think maybe I might drive to Target because they have a Starbucks inside of Target. Okay. And just get Starbucks there and then wear him in Target because he'll fall asleep in the wrap. Oh, it's okay. I'll let you guys know what I do. Okay, so we are back in the car. I think I consider it a success. He did great inside. Like, he did great being on me. And he just chilled there. Like, I probably could have gotten a coffee there, but I didn't want to push my look, you know? But putting him back in the car seat just now, I had to, like, soothe him and kind of, like, I don't know. I mean, if I were to be wearing him at home and then laying him in the bed, I would still have to do that same thing of, like, soothing him and singing to him because he's going from a warm chest to the bed by himself but the car seat is obviously a little bit more uncomfortable and he's starting to like kind of whine a little bit right now if you can hear him i'm hoping he just falls asleep it's about to rain and i just don't want to get back there again but this it's okay oh god anyway i'm probably gonna go back home because it's starting to rain anyway the clouds are really dark so but this is way better than starbucks i'm so happy i didn't settle for starbucks but every time he hears me talk he starts to cry <laughs> okay well cheers put little man to sleep upstairs and now i'm gonna eat some lunch because i'm starving we made pot pie last night so i'm just gonna eat this for leftovers but typically my husband will meal prep a bunch of food for the week for me and him and we ran out, we usually run out towards the end of the week. It's Friday. So that is why I'm eating leftovers. I don't think he'll stay asleep long just because he's been sleeping on and off since we got home, but at least long enough for me to eat because I'm so hungry. Today has been a really good day with him. He's been really chill, which is very exciting. And I honestly think it's because he had a blowout this morning. Like I feel like since everything is out of his system, he's fine. Cause typically he kind of cries a lot because he really struggles with gas. And I had to cut dairy, which sucks because I love milkshakes and pizza and pasta, but that sounds disgusting. Maybe it's good I cut dairy, but he struggles really bad with gas around three weeks up until now so it's been about a month but honestly the past week two weeks he's been doing a lot better so I'm really happy about that but it's been a really good day and even though in the car it was kind of a lot like trying to soothe him because I was in the back seat probably for like 20 minutes trying to just calm him down and I had to feed him and just kind of like comfort him other than that like I feel like today has been really good and I feel like as he gets older he'll be used to the car and just being out I feel like right now he's kind of like, what is going on? And he did so good in the coffee shop. He was just so dreamy and sweet. And yeah, so it's currently three o'clock. Zach usually gets home in a few hours, but he might be going to the gym after work. I really want to go to the furniture store and try to find a couch. Right now, Facebook Marketplace is not doing it for me, but honestly, it's okay because I kind of want a couch that I'm going to keep for a long time. Like I am not trying to keep buying couches. Like we've gone through three couches in the past couple of years. So I'm just like, I need to just find a good staple couch that I can keep forever. But our living room is awkwardly narrow. So the couch has to be small, but I hate small couches. I really want like a big one. So we'll have to find one that's like just the right size. That's why we had to get rid of our other couch. It was really nice and comfortable, but it just did not fit in the living room. So hopefully I can find something today. And I'm kind of hoping Zach doesn't go to the gym so we can go to the furniture store together or I could at least go by myself while he stays here with Theo. So I want to show you guys something. Thing. So I mentioned this earlier, but tomorrow I'm celebrating my friend Rosa's birthday in the morning and then my friend Brooke's birthday that evening. It's going to be a lot going on, but I'm honestly excited. They've done so much for me that I just cannot wait to have a reason to celebrate them and love them. But I got this gift for Brooke. I'm going to show you guys because by the time the vlog's up, she would have gotten this already. So I'm not spoiling anything, but it's this cute little mug. 
from Amazon. Look at how adorable. Wait, it's still focusing. Look at how cute. It has these little flowers on it and it's a ceramic mug. So it's like cool wavy edge going on. And honestly, I want one for myself. Like this is so cute. They had four different other ones and I might order some for myself, but we're on a budget this year. I really wanted to go out and like spoil Brooke and Rosa and you know, but like Zach has us on a really tight budget because we got our medical bill and like, it's just, we had to get EO insurance. So there's a lot of new bills coming in. And since I'm a new stay at home mom, I'm not working. So yeah, just have to be a little careful with the spending. So I'm just a stay at home mom, which apparently is the equivalent of two jobs. And I believe whoever created that statistic, cause that's what it feels like. So look at these cute little flowers that one of my friends got me, which honestly, we're not even really that close. We met at a Bible study and then we followed each other on Instagram. I have not seen her since. We have not done a like solo date together, but I thought it was so sweet that she brought me just this little vase. And she was like, I like to keep flowers by my kitchen sink while I'm doing dishes. It kind of like makes it more enjoyable. And I'm like, that is so cute. It's kind of crazy. Cause I've always prayed for just healthy friendships, especially in your twenties. Like I feel like you're going through so much in your twenties. You're discovering what you want to do. And like you're getting married, you're having babies. And like, you want to have some pretty good friends on your side and I feel like with high school it's just the relationships are just not as deep you know what I mean it's just kind of like for fun you're not really having like really in-depth not even like super emotional conversations but just conversations where they hold you accountable and call you out and I feel like I have so many incredible girls in my life that do that like and I welcome it I'm like hey this is how I feel I'm letting you know like is this okay to feel this way like just asking them advice and they have the best spiritually sound advice ever and it just feels, I don't know, I've been feeling really challenged to steward my relationships in this season because it's its like a huge quantity of friends, but then it's also like the quality is really rich. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how long the season's gonna last, hopefully for a long time. Like I consider all these friends really, really close friends, like sisters. And so I'm just like feeling really challenged to, I don't know, like steward it well and just enjoy this season while it lasts because things can look so so different so fast not in a weird way of like oh i'm not friends with them anymore but just like people moving away or people having kids so like you're not able to hang out as much like i'm already kind of experiencing that i literally have three friend dates that i need to make happen but with theo it's just a little bit unpredictable because he cries and so i have to cancel last minute so i'm not able to like jump up and just like run to the beach or run to the coffee shop or go shopping like i used to so i'm just feeling like really challenged to steward my friendships well to make the most of each time I have with them because usually I'm like rushing home after just to be with Theo but it's weird it just feels like a really sweet season as far as just the friendships that are in my life right now and I'm just like really thankful like prayer is everything if you're struggling right now in this season especially in your 20s just meeting really great friends and not just friends that are like really fun to hang out with but friends who you feel like you can trust and speak to and they help you and give you sound advice even if it's something you don't want to hear like if that's something you're really craving in your life pray. like i prayed like crazy when we moved to florida we did not know anybody here we didn't even see this place before we moved here like st augustine jacksonville area and at first like i was really focusing on myself which honestly felt really selfish in the season like just kind of like serving myself not really looking for people i was very satisfied with just hanging out by myself but then i hit this point where i was like okay i miss people like i'm just too extroverted for this and it's good to just have people in your life so i just started praying me and zach were both just praying for a community like-minded on fire for the lord and and that's exactly what we walked into. And yeah, I'm just encouraging you to pray continuously for those lifelong friends that will tell you everything you need to hear, love on you, and be there for you to celebrate. Like the fact that all of these girls, like when I first met these girls in December of 2022, or maybe 2021, I think it was December 2021, they threw me like this gorgeous birthday thing in March. I'd only known these people for three months and they were celebrating me so well. They all threw my baby shower. 
like it just feels like family and it's so healthy it's so beautiful it's so the lord like i just love it so pray for lifelong friends pray for like-minded people in your life that love jesus that love the bible and pray for people to hold you accountable including leaders not just girls your own age but literally elders like just women and men of all different stages for your husband if you're married but yeah i'm just oh, feeling so thankful that's my spiel of the day <laughs> good morning good morning hi okay it's okay <laughs> right now so we're just gonna hang out yeah we're just gonna hang out and snuggle you want to do some tummy time i use this pillow that i used to use during pregnancy it's like a mini version of the pregnancy pillow it's just not huge and obnoxious so you ready to do tummy time yeah let's see your tummy time lift that head up dude whoa you look so grown up Oh my goodness! What? <laughs> wow, dude! You're killing it! Oh, oh, what? Look at how high he's going! You're getting so big! Good job, dude! Look at that height right there! Yeah, good job! You're starting to slide! Yeah? <laughs> Good job. It's 4.30. Daddy gets off at 5. He normally calls us. So we're just going to hang out together until he calls us. If your baby struggles with gas, I highly recommend one of these pillows for them to just lay on. I can tell like the incline of him on this pillow helps a lot. Like laying him straight on his back, he cries. But with this, he's like inclined just a little bit. And he's so much happier. I honestly don't know what the pillow is called. Like I said, I use this during pregnancy because the big pregnancy pillows, they're just so bulky and kind of like in the way so with this one I just like tucked it under my stomach and it fit perfectly and like yeah he's trying to say something I'll try to link it down below I don't know what it's called it was gifted to me but I loved it mm, my little seven week baby so Theo ended up falling right back asleep and Zach is going to the gym so he's not going to be home for an hour. I'm going to end the vlog here but I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing a little day in the life as a stay at home mom. It does get repetitive but honestly it's the best like I love him he's so sweet and any milestone he has of growth it just feels like the biggest deal and I'm gonna share one more thing before I let you guys go and if you stayed this long then that means it's for you so obviously every day does not look this dreamy this fun and there were even parts that I like kind of talked about but didn't show where he was like crying in the car but I wanted to share just this revelation I got from the Lord about crying babies like so basically motherhood in general is going to be hard it's fun but obviously it's it's hard and there's going to be times where in the natural things look like really difficult but in the supernatural there's something accessible as far as figuring out okay what is the Lord trying to tell me because he's always speaking and so one of those moments was I think it was a couple nights ago Theo was crying and I'm starting to get to the point where I can kind of recognize his cries or like my intuition is telling me he's hungry or he needs a change or something like that this cry I knew he was hungry so I'm like trying to get ready I'm you know get my <laughs> situation ready to feed him he's just crying crying and I'm like hold on like let me just get ready like let me set you up you know and so finally I am able to just like help him literally said to him out loud I was like don't I always take care of you like don't you know by now that I always come through and in that moment I just felt the Lord telling me like that's us with him or that's me with him obviously my parenting over my child is just 
a small fragment, a small shadow reflection of God's love for us as his children. And so the level of love I feel for Theo is like crazy. And it makes me think like, oh my gosh, the level of love that the Lord feels for us, his children is also, I mean, not also, is way more abundant and like full of grace and mercy and patience. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I heard the Lord saying like, don't I always take care of you? Haven't I always come through? Like the same words I was saying to Theo, I felt like he was saying to me. And it really just brought me so much peace and comfort because there are times where I'm like, Lord, I feel like you've forgotten about me in this area. Like I feel like you're kind of absent from this area like can you bless this can you speak life into this or read life into this and I honestly get very anxious thinking he's not gonna come through but I, I just I'm at this point with my relationship with the Lord and the longevity that our relationship has I'm just like he's always come through there's never been a moment where he hasn't and when it looked like he did it he was teaching me something that like I wouldn't have gained anywhere else except for through that battle and so it just brought me so much peace and this is gonna sound silly but even like with the couch downstairs like it's really been stressing me out because I when we moved into this place I was so excited to be in a home where it felt like home because we had this crazy situation happened before this townhome and it caused me to like stay in bed all day like in that townhome and when we moved here I was like oh my gosh I'm so happy we live in a place where I don't want to be just shut in my room all the time like I'm excited to be downstairs be everywhere and so now that the couch is gone I've been in the bedroom most of the time because it's just comfortable and we're at home me and Theo all the time together and so I was just praying to the Lord I was like Lord please 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 like help us to find a couch we've been without a couch for like a week and I was like Lord please help me find a couch like we're about nothing pray about everything because I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit freaked out like just being in bed all day it just kind of reminded me of that season and so after having that night with Thea where I felt like the Lord was speaking to me like haven't I always taken care of you it brought me so much peace that like this sounds silly but I know he's gonna give me a couch beyond my wildest dreams like just having these romanticized thoughts about the Lord where it's like he's gonna take care of me and he is preparing the perfect couch for me and that's just kind of like the hope that I cling to as far as just having a relationship with the Lord knowing that he has and he will always take care of me so if you stayed this long I truly think this is for you it could be applicable to like any area of your life the Lord is going to take care of you no matter what he always has and he always will so but thank you so much for watching and if you stayed this far comment below the couch emoji I feel like that is very prophetic for um, the future of my living room <laughs> Bye.